Hi everybody, my name is Destiny. Today we're going to be doing a clay tutorial on how you should bake your clay, different ways to make your clay look pretty, like glitter and stuff like that. So let's just get into it. Um, what I recommend you guys to do is when you're rolling out your clay with the rolling pin like that. This is a mini rolling pin that I got from um, the 90s um, from... I don't know what this store is called. I maybe have a link here. I'm in here. Sorry. Right here. So here we go. So here's the rolling pin. It's actually a nice yellowish, you know, young green, but it's turning off yellow on the camera. So we're just going to, you cannot roll this entire batch out. So I'm just going to take this piece of a, a little mansion set, a little, little thing, and just cut so well. Look at that. And then we're just going to take this stuff and take that stuff off it. Now I'm going to do batch number one. You don't want batch number one to curl over the entire little pin. I like rolling out my clay at least half a quarter inch thick, depending on what type of craft I'm doing. If I'm doing a cookie or a cake. When I'm doing cookies, one inch thick. I mean, when I'm doing a cake, one inch thick. When I'm doing cookie, one half inch thick. You don't want them to be um different sizes. So I'm doing a cookie. Sorry, I'm the camera's not working properly. Okay, that's me. No, a beautiful place. Alright, back to the camera. Alright, so I've taken this cute duck lady cutter that came in this set with the rolling pin. I'm actually a very bad person. I lost all the cookie cutters to this set. I think, I pretty much think, because I'm going to my eBay this year anyway. And then I'm going to get this set all over again. It's only nine. It's that cool. So I'm going to go back there and go on a shopping spin with it. It's actually like a thrift store, but not without like so much clothes. It's actually more of an everyday thing. So I'm just going to cut out one duck. I'm going to show you guys what I'm done. I gotta take off this one just a little bit. And there you go. Here is my little duck. I don't know if you guys can see. No, it's falling. No, it's butt is falling off my hand. There's a little duck. So, the next squishy pop up. That's how you're supposed to do your thing. And please, um, go see my squishy clay tutorial part one and part two. That's how I made this gigantic batch of squishy clay. Isn't that awesome? And please comment, rate, subscribe, and like. I'm sorry, this was a very, very short video. Um, this is actually not the helpful video. Actually, it's more of a just what I do or tips because I am not most of that organized person. Hope you guys enjoy. Bye.